we go. This is the kind of music that I like. I'm reacting to it because I haven't heard this on many billions of years. But I'm not pretty much to die all the time in Lord of the Rings. song was but damn this song is really good I it's a lot of years ago since I heard this song last time I think like I said I'm not pretty much of a diehard fan of Lord of the Rings so this is a really good song and the band itself are really fucking good and it's pretty funny to me because there's a lot of heavy metal bands out there that actually are making uh, music based of uh, e events, war, and uh, all the movies, you know, like, or books. The only thing is that we miss is uh, that somebody should make a fucking power metal band based of Harry Potter's universe. We do got Blind Guardian, who is, which is based off um, everything about The uh, Hobbit and Lord of the Rings. We got Ailstorm that is based off everything about pirates. We got Sabaton that it's based off a lot of about world war and historical moments and events. We got Rauptier which is also quite a lot of basing of war and uh, stuff. You got Amon Amorph which is based off of Vikings. Same with the... Um, Singer from Rauptier, uh, he has a solo band called Hulkov, which is also based on Vikings and stuff. So yeah, you know, there's a lot of these bands that base off from movies, books, historical moments and stuff. Did that, did, that's what heavy metal is to me. I'm not this guy that wants to like, oh shit, I'm gonna listen to Killswitch Engage 
24-7 in a week. I like the band, yes, but I don't think they're better than like Salvatore or something. I mean, I'm, I'm more like, I want to have a background in the band, you know? Salvatore does a lot of good music videos. They're based off everything about World War One and World War Two. Everything about the war. And then... Amon Amorth, like I said, makes a lot of music about... Um, Four and Odin and... Yeah, like Black black uh, black Metal Band Bursum, in a way. The, he, Vark Vikinus, making a lot of music about ancient times and also about the foreign Odin and stuff and yeah you name it but it's it's not really black metal anymore for him I mean he's making a different kind of black metal black metal <laughs> but yeah you know you know what I'm saying so yeah there's a lot of bands that makes music based on something and the band is getting famous for being like uh, like Sabaton has never fucking Made a goofy song just in, just to fool around. They made a lot of covers like Fire Fry by Rammstein and uh, In the Army and um, Tw Twilight of the Thunder God for Christ's sake. And a lot, uh, probably more. Yep, they made a Swedish uh, cover for Raup Tier song called En Hjeltes Väg, which is a, a hero's path though. So... We do have Ailstorm, which is uh, also making a lot of covers, but they're pretty much a fun, fun metal band from Scotland. That is Scottish. Scottish? Yoxeptikai? I'm just kidding. I don't know why I just said it. I think PewDiePie said it once that I just thought about it right now. Maybe. I don't know. So the. the I'm a. Die hard fan of Ailstorm. So you, you you there you see that I I want a background for the band before I like it. So Kill Switch Engage is a good band, of course, but they don't have a like they don't base off anything, they're just making music. And all that remains uh, they're not making a lot of boring music sometimes, but they are pre pretty good. And what we got more in this moment uh, uh, Five Finger Death Punch, nah. They're good bands, but they're not better than Sabaton and stuff, you know? I'm more into the background of the music, you know? I, I, I like music that is based on something that happened, or fr from movies or books, which is awesome. So like I said, it, the only thing that we need now is a band based on Harry Potter. <laughs> Goodbye.